Hello everybody and welcome to The Last Stand. So this is going to be a little bit different. Um, I was actually given this game as well as um, the Aftermath, the one that's over here that says coming soon. Um, I was actually given these two games and asked to record them. Um, source is going to remain anonymous, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Um, my throat's a little bit sore, so I'm not the best of speaking right now. But I am going to be recording them so that I've got them. I've got my camera over there as well as my game right there. So I can actually see and make sure everything is recording properly. I lean up slightly I can see the timer on the recording as well so yeah let's start the first one I guess uh, I don't think I'm gonna be doing full playthroughs of all of them um, the only one I might do a full playthrough of is aftermath um, as these are essentially just flash games Let's go. Okay, that recentered. I'm gonna readjust that real fast. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> uh, I played a little bit to get used to this again because I haven't played this since school. <clears throat> but let's go. Controls, switch weapons, options, shoot and kill. Um. This being so difficult though. So let's just unload on their heads. Go down here. Cool. 65% of the barricades remaining. So let's go get a little bit of that left ignore the weapons right now and just spend most of my day searching for survivors eight hours do another ten percent found two survivors cool that means three um pistol i don't have an exact time to be recording for just kind of God, get out of here. Let's get him out. Get him out. Fifteen percent on the barricade. Let's do two hours of that and search for more survivors. Ten more hours. That's thirty percent. Bring it back up to eighty. Two more survivors found. Sweet. So the more survivors you have, actually, the better equipped you are. Um, your weapon's kind of negligible because each person's going to have their own. <clears throat> get out of here, priest. As well as you can get weapons from the zombies. Hours. 
Look for more survivors. Let's see. I did get that and did get another survivor. 36% putting us at full. that remove that do main and do that as my backup see how much durability they do that one now we should probably look for start looking for a weapon a little more seriously six hours look for more survivors in the meantime <clears throat> 15 repaired no weapons no people no one lost either okay so no real changes for that show host. same okay that tells me nothing the weapon find meter is now just completely blank cool so up that search for some weapons for a couple hours and then search for some more survivors i did get a new weapon though but i did lose someone okay let's see that then that bad another little bit to that search for some more weapons for about six hours then go more go for more survivors I found a survivor got a shotgun and repaired the barricade okay remove that get the shotgun shotguns gonna be better at close range while that stays better for the long range
after that. Back on the search for some more weapons. Keep an eye out for survivors. Lost one, got no weapons, but repaired the barricade. Keep that little. So it looks like I'll need to do about two repairs this time. Six, search for more survivors. No weapons, but I did find another person. <clears throat> Jesus. Volume in this is a little bit louder than I had anticipated. Let's lower that a little bit. Okay, four, five, six. Let's do seven this time. I found a chainsaw and a, and a new party member. If I remember correctly, the chainsaw is great for when they're. assist up here a little bit. Okay. But yeah. Chainsaw is decent for short range. No vacancy. Okay. So if I do 135, put it at 90, 98. Spend the rest of the time, well, almost the rest, let's get that up to 100. <laughs> Lost a person, but did get it up to 100%. So, chainsaw's good, no reload time. Okay. Gotta remember. 
remember to switch weapons every once in a while. 30%. Let's do two. Let's do three hours of that. Six more hours of a search. Or four more hours. Uh, six more hours of searching. Or four. <coughs> six hours of searching. Four hours of survivor. I got a sawed off shotgun, which if I had to guess is probably better for the short range. Did repair the wall completely though. Let's try the, the, the sawed off because I feel like it's a double barrel. Whether it's good for short range or not, it does help with the long range. With helping with the long range, I can actually do that a little bit easier. I'm sitting at about 16 minutes on this recording already. That ain't bad. Okay. Spent 11 hours searching for weapons. No one lost, and I got a new gun. So, remove that, put the hunting rifle, but the hunting rifle, if I remember correctly, I think it goes straight to where your shot is. It would put that at 100. Okay, let's search for some more weapons, see what else I can get. Got an Uzi. Uzi might be better for close range. No, that's not an Uzi. That's the Uzi. Because I do want to kind of see if I can get all the weapons by the end. So it's right above the crosshair. <clears throat> Take that. Go back. Okay. Note to self, call mom if I live. Or mum. M4A1. I think I lost someone though. But I've got the M4 and then the next one being what looks like the AK. I might honestly just record this as a one and done.
flying through these parts a bit faster than I thought I would. Oh, I lost another person. Tomorrow's going to be strictly searching for people and repairing the walls. Okay, there's all of them for the day. Let's see. Repair barricades. Let's do 10 hours. Let's do one of searching for a weapon. Found a person. That's better than nothing. Stick with that. <clears throat> There were still people on the wall. Whoops. Okay. Two put it at 92, so three hours of that. Seven, two looking for a weapon. Found one, and I got the AK. So remove that, put the AK on there. Now I have all the weapons. Now it's just a matter of balancing my people versus my wall. <laughs> So there's still a weapon find bar, but I don't know why, so I'm going to do that. I don't think I have enough. Oh, I lost someone. But I don't think there is another. There is the diary still, which just tells you aim and shoot, kill, kill. 
Um, this should be the last night. No, one more. Oh god, it's a clown. Five percent. Oh, thirty percent. So one. Let's search for people for the rest of the day. Found one. Should be good to finish this day off. Just under thirty minutes. <coughs> Helicopters. Well done, you survived 20 days and nights. Where to from here, who knows, it's a new day. Okay. So that was the first in this series. Um, forgot about that. Um, the last stand. Um, it's not actually that bad. It's about as fun as I remember it being. Um, and I can actually... Click that and bring it right back to the original. So, it's about as good as I remember it being. It was pretty fun back in the day. It appears it still is. It holds up. I actually miss the nostalgia this gave me. Playing for those first three nights, um, when I did the little test for the first one, wasn't that bad. Um, just kind of had to tweak some things because it was a little bit buggy for me at first. If I shot the, pist the starting pistol too fast, my cursor would glitch out and slide off the screen, and I wouldn't be able to click. Um, 
which is something I did want to, uh, was one of the things I was testing for, was how fast its recognition was. So I am really glad that that got uh, fixed. So, but I'm gonna end this one here and start the next, or start the last and two in the next episode. Later.